Don't let anyone stop you, because you can't be stopped if you're a machine. You are a machine. If you program yourself to be powerful, happy and empowered. Welcome back to another video. I am Maximilian and I help people empower their lives. Now yesterday, as you can imagine, there was a, a bomb threat. There was a scare. There was a, a chemical explosion. So I think it was a chemical bomb. I don't, I'm not sure. And it turns out what happened. So what happened was they, there was loads of people, loads of police parked up outside the houses. They wouldn't let anyone down the road. Both ends were closed. And it was quite a, I'd say, quite a main road. A lot of people go through that road. So it caused a bit of a scare. Um, all the other houses were obviously, you couldn't, you couldn't get to them. There was just no way of getting there. And they wouldn't let anyone else in. They kicked, they evacuated everyone. And yeah, it turned out to be a chemical bomb. It turned out to be something that they had to remove. I don't know how it got there. I don't know why it was there. But that's what they say. Again, I'm still, I'm still going with my old theory, my original theory. I'm going with it, I'm sticking with it. And after about three hours, no, three and a half hours, give or take, something like that, that's when we were able to go back home. And as soon as we went back, there was nothing there. So that's why I'm a bit suspicious. <laughs> Who knows what it could be? But we're never gonna fully know. That's the problem. So, interesting stuff, isn't it? I mean, well, what you gotta do? Well, what can you, what can you do? I mean, if, you, if you're never gonna know, you're never gonna know, you have to accept that, unfortunately. Unless you wanna go and dig. I mean, if you wanna go and dig into it, go by all means. It's something some people wanna do, and it, it's enjoyable for some people, but I'm now going to get my hair cut. As you can see, my hair is an absolute mess. It's sort of floppy and, what the hell? What the hell are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Some lady just stopped, reversed, and then just drove off in the middle of the road. I'm going to talk more on the subconscious mind and how powerful it is and ways that you can use it very easily to reprogram yourself for success, happiness, love, fulfillment, whatever it is that you want to reprogram yourself for. Because that's in the end of the day, if you can reprogram yourself... Oh my god, what is she doing? Come on, love. If you can reprogram your mind at the end of the day, then nothing else matters because you, you can basically dictate your life. You can say, I don't need that to be happy, I'm already happy. And then more, you have more to be happy for. And that's how the law of attraction works, that's how the universe works. When you, are, when you are in a state of being, and you're in a state of happiness, you have more to be happy for. When you're in a state of love, you'll have more to be loving for. So if there's anything else, if you're gra grateful, you'll have more to be grateful for, etc., 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 etc. So the subconscious mind, you have two chances throughout your day, every morning, every evening. What is the last thing you do before you go to bed? And what is the first thing you do when you wake up? If you just change this alone, you'll have a dramatic effect. If you, the last thing you do before you go to bed, if you listen to something motivational, something inspirational, something educational, something positive, something empowering, you're likely to wake up feeling that emotion and even have dreams and things like that because your mind is always, always awake looking for reasons why you should be happy and reasons why you should be grateful, etc., 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 etc. There we go. So be conscious of what you are putting into your mind every single evening. If the last thing you watch before you go to bed is something like Jeremy Kyle, I guarantee you, you're not gonna wake up feeling too great. And if the first thing you wake up in the morning, you look on social media and look at people that are doing better than you, you're not gonna feel too great. Sometimes we just need the logic to sit there and be like, okay, so, why, why do I follow these people on Instagram? Why do I go on Instagram in the morning? First thing I do in the morning, I at least don't go on any social media until at least an hour. At least an hour. Um, that's including me doing my meditation. Oh, well, that's including me doing my meditations and all, all, all that kind of jazz. But I don't touch social media. I don't go on it. The only thing I do use is YouTube, but I use YouTube to listen to motivational videos so I don't sit and scroll through YouTube. I will listen to a motivational video, I'll listen to an educational video, I'll listen to something that empowers me, gets me pumped. It's a very nice day today though. It hasn't been the last few days. It's very bright, as you can see on my face. Um, and yeah, the, the, what you listen to in the morning, the first eight minutes of your morning is how you will set up your day. Now don't get me wrong, there will be days where you have a great morning, so you will get some bad news and the day might be a bit worse than you expected. But 
you have a higher percentage chance, scientifically, if you wake up feeling empowered, if you wake up feeling motivated, grateful, etc., to have a better day, you will just have a better day because you're looking, your RAS, the reticular activating system in your brain is consciously searching for, why am I so happy? Whereas if you say, why am I so angry? Why am I so upset? Your mind, your brain will search for reasons why. And then that's where someone might nearly hit your car and then you start screaming at them and et cetera, things like that. And it, there's just, I've said et cetera very many, very many times. I've said et cetera quite a few times. Yes! How? So utilize, utilize, utilize the first eight minutes, well, the first half an hour of your day. If you can control your morning, you can control your day. If you can, if you can discipline yourself to not look at social media, if you can discipline yourself not to reply to emails, you can discipline yourself throughout the day. Whereas if you cave and you give in first thing in the morning, what do you think you're going to say to yourself later on in the day? Oh, I'll just, I'll just have one more biscuit. I'll just have one more chocolate bar. I'll just, I'll just not go to the gym. I'll just play Xbox for two more hours. I'll just have a microwave meal for dinner, like things like that. You, you won't, you won't discipline yourself and discipline comes from self-love. If you truly love yourself, you'll discipline yourself and the camera is very wobbly, isn't it? That's not going to be wobbly through the whole video. Oh man. Oh no. Once it happens, it happens. Make the mornings powerful. Make your evenings powerful. Make the days powerful. And if you can repeat that every single day, watch what happens in one year. Just watch. Honestly, your life will change completely. And maybe not even like realistically in five years, the person that you are today, you'll look back and be like, whoa, how was I so naive? How was I so stupid? How was I so this? How was I so that? Whereas right now you might like, even I will say that to myself now, I I'm, I'm probably am quite naive in some ways, but I'm where I am on my mission. I'm where I am on my journey. Oh my God, they nearly just crashed. So it's, it's all part of the process. Trust the process people, but impact the process and be part of the process. Make your process. You can make it. And that is by starting your mornings right. It's ending your evenings right. Don't scroll on social media just as you're going to bed. Don't put your pillow, your phone under your pillow before you go to bed. There's so many things that you shouldn't do and there's so many things that you should do. And sometimes we just don't know and I obviously didn't know before, before I heard, I mean, obviously. Utilize the power of knowledge. When you learn, when you listen to something, you hear something, try it. And I guarantee you it'll work. I guarantee you it'll work. But try it for your, like, my opinion with everything is, what's the worst that can happen? I can always go back to my old self. I can always go back to my depressed self. I can always go back to my anxious self. But why would I want to do that now that I'm happy? I don't. So just try it. Just go for it. Don't let anyone stop you because you can't be stopped if you're a machine. And you are a machine. If you program yourself to be powerful, happy, and empowered. So I hope this video has given you some knowledge. And I've, that's all I found out about the, the bomb thing. Unfortunately, I wish I could find out more. I'd love to tell you what happened, but unfortunately, that's all I know. Have an amazing day. Have an amazing week. Have an amazing life. And I hope you watch my other videos. Have a great day, people. Keep spreading love. Keep spreading kindness. And keep spreading positivity. Woohoo!